What's up, YouTube? Sir Wilson is back. My name is also Will, and I am here with episode 16 of the Pokemon Shield Wedlock. And last time we left off in the West Pokemon Center of Motostoke, and we are ready with the pair to head into the third gym, the Motostoke gym, to take on Kobu, Kabu, and his fire type Pokemon. And of course, we've got Esmeralda and Maelstrom as the selected pair. Now remember, in my rules, I am only allowed to use a <coughs> a uh, a pair of Pokemon, or up to two pairs of Pokemon, depending on the gym. Um, this is the final gym with three Pokemon in the gym leader's team, meaning uh, I am limited to one pair of Pokemon. I can only bring two Pokemon this time. In the next gyms. Uh, gyms four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, they have four Pokemon. All the gym leaders have four Pokemon in their team, and I'm allowed to bring two pairs to match uh, their party count. All right. So I have chosen to use Maelstrom and, and uh, Esmeralda because they are new to the team, and so far Puddle and Mud have taken on. Uh, well, Puddle took on the second gym, and Adam took on the first gym. But Adam's no longer with us. Rip. Uh, so here we go. Let's jump on into it. Um, if you're enjoying the series so far, thank you so much for following along. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I am super excited for this gym. I think I have some hesitation, uh, but I do believe in Maelstrom and his abilities to take on this gym. And I've also uh, I've also seen what a Sand Slash can do against this gym as well, and a, another playthrough. So I'm 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 pretty confident that this team will not have any trouble uh, taking on Kabu. Oh, uh, there's Hop. Oh, Hop, 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 That's not what I want. I want an item. Do I have any Ross Bears? No, of course not. Oh, she gives you burn, you know. Hmm. What do I want to give you? What do I want to give you? Let's go with soft sand. Can't go wrong with the soft sand on the sand slash. All right, so here we go. Let's do cutscene. Slow moving, aren't you, Sir Wilson? I've already gone in in my fire badge. That man, Fire Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But still, I won in the end. Get a shift on, Sir Wilson. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire, too. Ah, thanks, Hop. I appreciate your confidence and your belief in me. I don't like that you're ahead of me, but I think we'll change that in the future. Okay, here we go. Hey, Jim Challenger. That's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his gym mission so hard. But I'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change it to your uniform first. Alright, alright, alright. I can do that. I can do that. Haha, -ha, here I am. With my lucky number 17. You you may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than others you faced. In you go. Why is it different? Why is it different? Cheers for good luck. Texas Rangers Cup. Oh, look, there's a basket of Pokeballs. I don't know why I pointed at the screen. Y'all can't see where I point. But did y'all see that? There's a... Look at those baskets of Pokeballs. I never noticed those before. The gym... <coughs> excuse me, this is Dan. <coughs> the gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rank up points. Oh, okay, Dan. Gym mission start! Oh. <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> uh, camera, camera reversals. Uh... Ah, oh yes, so in the previous episode, uh, I'm recording this, uh, episode 14 and 15 are going to be recorded on the same day, uh, and Charizard had us on, but because we were taking on the fire gym. 
fire shirt for Charizard. And uh, one thing to clarify real quick. One thing to clarify real quick. Um, so typically this would be an encounter point um, because you can catch Pokemon in the Motostoke Gym. Um, however, if I remember correctly, when you catch a Pokemon in the Motostoke Gym, it's just called Motostoke. And so, since I already caught Maelstrom as my encounter in Motostoke, I am not allowed to catch any Pokemon in here. I chose that um, ahead of time. I decided to go with the, the guaranteed Magikarp, almost guaranteed Magikarp, um, in place of risking it or trying to go for one of these Pokemon. Now, uh, you have three Pokemon to battle. I have to basically kill five because I'm not catching anything. So we're going to battle all of them at least once. There's Vulpix, Sizzlipede, and Liquid to choose from if you want to catch a Fire Pokemon here. And in the last episode, uh, I took some time to run around the wild area and do a few Dynamax raids to catch, or uh, to uh, uh, grind for some Dynamax candies to give to Maelstrom and Esmeralda. All right, one down. Challenger Sir Wilson claims one point. Thank you, commentator. Whoever you may be. Excuse me. Excuse me, a little, little gassy burp there. Uh, I wonder if anyone has ever found a shiny in these encounters, if it's even possible. I love the floor. The Scent of Scorch, like, samurai ninja design is pretty cool. Sweet, Maelstrom grew to level 25. All right, I'm gonna switch you out for sure. Esmeralda needs to try and get some um, really good experience. I don't think Esmeralda is going to level up, though. Uh, these Pokemon don't give great experience, unfortunately. And you don't get experience from defeating your, like, partner. Sizzlipede. 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 Uh, we do have rollout. And the fake out goes on to Esmeralda. That is so rude, Salazzle. Sizzlepeed goes for Flame Wheel into Esmeralda. That's, that's surprising damage. Salanda also goes for the Willow Wisp on Esmeralda. Not cool, dude. Wow, really not cool. I'm really getting ganged up on this. 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 The. The Salandit is like the most offensive opponent you have against you. Look at this. Trying to sand attack my rollout? That's that's next level strats right there. Fake out, burn, sand attack? Like, come on, do you do any damage? I get, are you trying to do any damage against the Sizzlepeed? No, of course not. Okay, there's one, two. Um, I don't want you to be burned. Come on, Esmeralda. That's fine. Shooting me to be full health right now. Alright, that's uh, three. So we got a Vulpix, and I'll definitely do a Litwick next. Drill ride! Boom! <laughs> that's what drills sound like. <laughs> In case you didn't know. <laughs> I didn't I didn't read what he said. I looked at my dog. <laughs> I didn't read what the commentator said because I looked at my dog. You're so distracting. You're so cute. Shoot. Chaka, send out Sizzlepeed. Drill run! Alright, so looks like Esmeralda is barely gonna hit 25. It's totally cool. Um, oh, missed it by millimeters of experience. Millimeters of experience. Congratulations on another mission cleared. 
Declaring leader Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire! <laughs> Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of Fire Gym. On you go, challenger. Thank you, Dan. I love the little nod that he does there. I never noticed that either. Man, it's... Ah, there's something about going through and playing like this I really enjoy. Not, oh, I mean, not just for the fact of, like, recording, but I'm catching so many small things that I've never paid attention to because I'm paying such closer attention playing this way. It's pretty cool. Like, I've never noticed he nods like that. Not that it's a big deal, but it's like, it's a little thing. It's the little thing. The little thing. Uh, okay, they're ready. Um, actually, I... Nah. Mm. Okay, so that's the thing I'm thinking about is that, okay, so Kabu has Nine Tails, Arcanine, and then Sizzlipede. Nine, Arcanine. I don't think, actually, I think Arcanine doesn't have Intimidate. I don't know. Um, we're going to lead. Esmeralda's special defense is not good. I'm gonna lead with Maelstrom. Maelstrom actually resists Nine Tails, even if it does not speed. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna turn up the volume just a tad bit. I hope it doesn't distort things too much. Okay. Hopefully that's not ridiculous. But it is a gym battle, so the m I like the music to be a little bit. All right, here we go. Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Ooh, Kabu. Ooh, Kabu. Deep stuff, wise man. I love how serious he's looking. He's one of my favorite gym leaders of this entire game. I guess you should say of both games because the versions have version exclusive gym leaders. <laughs> it's been out for like a year, don't know. Intimidate! I've never seen a Ninetales before, apparently. <laughs> Oh, it's level 25. Oh, there's the Will-O-Wisp. Of course it connects right away. Of course you connect right away. Would I connect right away? Probably not. All right, here we go. We'll watch her fall. I'm sorry if my TV volume is too loud and it's picking up on my mic. Um... I don't want to stay burned. Ooh, fire spin. Okay, interesting. Going for the chip damage, eh, Kabu? Trapped in a fiery vortex. No, Maelstrom is a watery vortex. Excuse you. <laughs> you can't trap a water vortex and fire vortex. This is just nonsense. This is just nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and that's why it's gone. And that's why it's gone. All right, here comes Arcanine. All right, let's see. <laughs> Here's, here's the big brain play. Okay, it was Intimidate. It's not ideal. Crap, I should have switched out. Oh, uh, I should have switched out. It's all right. We'll fix this. Ooh, flinching? Nope. Hold those. We'll slow you down just a little bit. We are gonna slow you down just a little bit. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. All right, half speed or nine. Come on, man. Why? Is 
is item number one, unfortunately. It's to cure a burn. <laughs> I didn't count how much damage that did. I'm kind of nervous. I'm just going to switch into Esmeralda though. playing the flinch game anymore. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's heal up Gyarados. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Flame wheel, boom. All right, 50 to 34, 34 to 30. Pretty close, actually. Bye, Arcanine! Alright, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So close. Yes, I do want to switch into my Water Vortex Maelstrom! Get your mind moving, Kabu! There still must be a path to victory! Alright, here we go. Maelstrom! You Dynamax time! my favorite Pokemon to Dynamax. Burn brights and Scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and form. <laughs> See his little eyes burn like that. It's so cool. It's gonna be a crazy day tomorrow. Such a cool design. Max guys. <laughs> One shot. Nothing to worry about. A maelstrom is two levels down. One shot. <laughs> the G Rack such a sport. What? Plus three. Let's go. Ah. And that's it. And that's all she wrote. That's three badges. That's three. Let's get it. <laughs> no. Great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Yeah, thank you, Kabu. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I now I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. Already are. I'm glad I could bow today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Dun, da, 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 da. 
Put that thing in there. You farted. I smelled it too. <laughs> I caught her looking at her butt right as I looked around. It's like, but someone farted and it wasn't me. <laughs> Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it to become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Thank you, Kabu. It's the uh, avatar bow. You have to get the hand right. So Wilson, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Gyarados would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Why? Actually, I was kind of nervous. Challenger Sir Wilson, I see, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. I don't have any fire types, bro. Will a wisp me away? The user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. I get a fire uniform. Ooh, is it going to be like the one from How to Catch a Mockingbird? That's wrong. <laughs> the Hunger Games. I think you've proven your skill well enough to know to try your hand against the gyms that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock, head back down into the, wilder, the wild area surrounding the city. Then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we earned ourselves, I reckon we should be all right, even against the fierce Pokemon you fight deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Dan, out! <laughs> Bye, Dan. Bye, Dan. Lieutenant Dan! Lieutenant Dad, ice cream! <laughs> Name that movie, go! <laughs> Hurry up, Sir Wilson. Hmm? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us all. Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Whew. Mate, we, we made it in... We, oh jeez, I'm trying to do... We made it in time. Thank goodness for flying taxis. Sir Wilson, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get a gym back from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty champ. Hustle, 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 hop! You can do it, you can do it, Sir Wilson! <laughs> oh, jeez. The gym leaders will, you will face, the gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents. But I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got it. We've got to if we want to face it. If we want to, oh my gosh, we've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Sir Wilson, let's head for Hammerlock. Too many voices. Too many voices bouncing back and forth in my head and out my mouth. On our way to Hammerlock we go. And... Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back even stronger than before. So, Hammerlock is up that way. You got it? Down the, down the hill, across the river, and over the bridge, and under the bridge, to the hammer we go. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour, but now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon, technically level 35 and under, so I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page of my tale. <coughs> Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would even make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. 
I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish. More like you don't even know how to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest. My bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm gonna listen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then. I know you challenged Sir Wilson to a battle and gathered my number two and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. And this prattle about Sir Wilson and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? Ooh, I'll show you, I'll show this Wally my real skills in battle. So, see you later, Sir Wilson. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. <laughs> this Wally, I'll show this Wally my real skills. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that was good. That was a little bit of extra cutscene, um, and... It actually put our time, like, just below the 30-minute mark for this episode. So, um, I will rush back up to the Pokemon Center, because uh, I actually need to collect, bring the rest of the wedding party back into the adventure. Uh, so, here we are in episode... Sixteen. This is episode sixteen. I had to think about it for a second. <gasps> oh, what'd you say? What'd you say, bro? Oh, he's gone. <gasps> Whoa, he's a magic man. How did he disappear so quick? Wait, is that him? I wish something good would happen. Oh, all right. Well, I think that was what that guy's thought bubble looked like. I don't know. It's pretty weird. He just like disappeared just because I like, drove past him. On my bike. Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> That's a mean face, Maelstrom. And Maelstrom. Alright, here we go. Puddle, mud, sound wave, and icicle. Alright, so. The next, the next gym jumps up to level 36. That is gym number four. All right, so we're saving here. This is the end of episode number 16. Thank you all for coming by and checking this out. This was a very successful adventure for episode number 16. We were able to take on Kabu, complete the third gym without losing Maelstrom or Esmeralda. It did get a little nerve wracking with the double burn uh, and both my Pokemon not being able to outspeed Ninetales or Arcanine, but they were able to bounce off of each other and play to their strengths pretty well. And so they make a great pair so far. It was actually the first gym where I've used more than one Pokemon against the gym leader. Uh, Adam took on Milo solo and Puddle took on Nessa solo. So here we are. This is the team. Everyone's still safe and sound. We are now three badges and three deaths. So. Doing pretty well, can't complain, still liking the team, I'm having fun. That's the end of this episode. Leave a like, click the bell, subscribe, all of that stuff if you want to keep following. Episodes are going up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, as long as, I can, as, long as um, you know, this keeps going on and we have the adventure and the wedding party prevails. Uh, yeah, wedding party is pretty good. Oh, yeah. So, um, Maelstrom is the first partner to have more than one partner pretty scary stuff all right y'all uh that's it that's it for this episode sir wilson out peace y'all